Hey everyone, how's it going? It's me, it's Korzak. Welcome back to part 18 of the Dark Cloud 2 walkthrough. We're just continuing off into Venetio. So this is the ocean. Amazing! Wow! It feels so good! What do you think? Like it? Oh yeah! Come and join me! It feels great! Sure, okay. Huh? It's coming from that cave. Let's check it out. If I hadn't set out on this journey, then I never would have seen the sea. There are still so many things in the world that I haven't seen. Right then, I wanted to see them all. But more than even these wonderful things, I wanted to see your smiling face, Mother. Chapter 4. Goodbye, Shingala. You mustn't move it. I said not to move it. What do you want? I'm a bit tied up right now. That's a Shigura, isn't it? He's still a child. Ah, so you know about them, do you? I gave him a name. I call him Shingala. He turned up here lost about a month ago. Every year at about this time, the Shigura come from the south and live on these shores for a while. This one must have got split up from the tribe. I'm Pau. I live in this cave. How's it going? I'm Maximilian. I'm Monica. Is Shingala injured? Yeah. He slipped from the cliff yesterday and took me with him. I didn't think human medicine would be any good. Damn it. Sorry about this, but I need to ask a favor. Can you watch Shingala while I go and look for some medicine? Outside the cave, there's a place where some Shigura are gathered. I think if I go there, I might be able to find some medicine that'll help. Watch him? What do we do? Just watch him. I'll be as quick as I can. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. Aw, oh, man, he's just gone. <laughs> How come we get stuck here babysitting some sea dragon? The nerve of that kid. Oh, it's not that bad. This big guy's pretty cool. <laughs> What? What's the matter with him? He's headed outside! You've got to stop him! It's no good! Wow! He's heading toward the sea! We've got to follow him! Okay! It's time to go to Ocean's Roar Cave. <laughs> this dungeon's not super big. This is 
probably my favorite dungeon. I really like the uh, atmosphere and the enemies and the fights. I don't know. I think this is a cool dungeon. I like it. Pirates. <laughs> It has a nice soundtrack, too. <laughs> Alright, it's time to get Monica out here. She needs to start using her new sword. Well, I'd rather get get hit when the thing isn't in berserk mode. I hate fighting turtle enemies. They are annoying to deal with. All right, these things are a lot easier. <laughs> This thing's literally barfing on me. I need more healing items, I'm running low. Another turtle, huh? Oh, what's this guy out for us? And I always pick the wrong one. I would have loved getting that coin. Those things are unpredictable, so it's better to be careful. Do we have five spectrumized points now? We have six, even better. Well, we are done with that sand breaker. All right, well, I wanna get the most bang for my buck, so what I'm going to do is put my, you know, I have an excessive amount of these crystals, so let's just put like, 10 flame onto it, and then we'll put like 11 beast, something like that. This is one of the most efficient ways to uh, build things up, because the sandbreaker will break down and only require five spectrumized points to upgrade my uh, current weapon. So it's definitely worth it. Yeah, like that's a lot of, that's a lot of stats for only using five spectrumized points on my current weapon. So we are going the bottom route for our upgrade. And yes, I put flame and beast on it when we literally don't even need it. It's okay. Because that'll still just help us on out or later game, later on in the game. The only problem is now this has the uh, the thing that requires this, so we're going to break this coin down and put it on because I don't want to repair this weapon literally every two minutes. One coin to get rid of the debuff, and then another coin to give it the debuff. But as long as the debuff is gone, I'm happy with that too. Oh, my, my damage like literally doubled. <laughs> I guess these turtles count as beasts and not um, scaled creatures. I have keys, so we'll use a key. That is not a key. <laughs> Here we are. 
Oh wow, okay. Huh, who knows, maybe I'll get another indestructible coin. No, but I'll take that too. I can always just go buy another indestructible coin. In fact, I'm gonna have to, to give it to uh, Donnie when we go recruit him to our followers. To our roster of followers. <laughs> Sword's like super overpowered now. <laughs> Power crystal. Max's weapons look like right now. He just needs chill and attack. I do have more chill crystals, so we can probably upgrade his weapon, which is good. And then what about his gun? Exorcism, lightning, and scale. I think we'll get on Max for a little bit now. Yeah, I can tell that he needs it. <laughs> Monica's sword is just like OP in this place. I meant to do a charge up attack, but that didn't go down too well. <laughs> he does a lot of damage against those things with his wrench though. So I guess that they take more damage against beast instead of scale, as I imagined. I love messing up. Said nobody seriously ever. I do want to break down the bell trigger and give it to Max, but we still need to have the bell trigger to uh, get his father to join our party. Maybe the coin down there will heal us, who knows. <laughs> In fact, it made things worse. <laughs> I really don't want to use healing stuff because I don't really have much. Let's have Monica take care of this. I thought that was going to be another clown because I saw some kind of delay when I opened the chest. We will use this mighty boulder to take out Fintol. The random turtle with a mohawk. <laughs> Except literally every turtle here has a mohawk for some reason. Alright, only one more enemy on this floor. 
Did we- have we even gotten the uh, item required to leave? No, <laughs> we literally haven't. That's cool. So we actually have to just fight every enemy anyway, because we literally can't leave. That does happen sometimes. I've gotten the, the key to move forward from the first enemy, and I've gotten it from the last enemy, as we are right now. There is probably speed on this floor. Oh, there isn't? Oh yeah, I guess um, in here there's floors for where you're inside and there's ones that are outdoor. The outdoor ones have fishing goals and the indoor ones have speed goals. Well, I'm just curious, so I want to open this up. Is there literally anything in here at all whatsoever? Not even a single rock. Here we go. We are going to back out so that our characters automatically heal up. Gotta save those healing items. <laughs> oh, it's nice out here again. Oh yes, I can count the pixels even though the video is 4K. I can still see the pixels. I mean, this is like a 2002 game. Tons of fish. Tons of fish. Another ride pod only level, huh? Well, I guess we're gonna use the ride pod only. story about a turtle who traveled the seven seas. And so Tack the Sea Turtle made it back home safely. The end. <sighs> Mother, what is the sea like? you can see and then the sky and sea meet and become one it's very beautiful hmm I don't really get it I want to see it myself when you get a bit older we'll go there together really that's a promise right I'll see it for sure Well, he did see the sea, just not with his mom. The Luna Stone piece. A statue that requires at least 800 smash. <laughs> well, that didn't work. I got greedy there. For some reason, that thing carries Mimi.
I literally completely forgot about the fact that this was a ride pod only floor. Oh well. Okay, well maybe this one here will be better. Yes it is, it was perfect actually. Because I have more weapon repair powder than healing items. We are probably going to have to go on to the beach. I just kind of have a feeling that we're going to have to. So we're going to go this way. This will give me exorcism that I need, and this also gives me exorcism that I need. So let's just put both the gems on here then, shall we? Efficient use of synthesis points. Still needs more of everything, I mean, that just makes sense. Um, let's put a little bit of exorcism on here. I want to try and get that one done first. 50 is probably enough for this weapon. If it's not 50, it's probably going to require 60. Oh, I only have 45. That was bad math. But, I mean, it's enough anyway, however. probably going to need to level this weapon up at least one more time. If it's asking for 45 of everything. Yeah, I'll probably be able to get this on the next go around then. Who knows, maybe it only needs 43. <laughs> oh wow, it actually only needed that, okay. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Interrogates the enemy. This looks like a gun straight out of like World of Warcraft or something. So this thing is literally unable to be upgraded until like the end of chapter 5. It just needs more lightning, exorcism, scale, and attack. Although I remember getting the next upgrade takes a lot of stats. And then the one after that takes like an excessive amount of stats. <laughs> We're probably going to have this quest and shooter until it's at least like plus 10, probably. Sorry about that. is significantly more powerful than it was before though. More shell crystals, we need that. Okay, the gun's not good against this thing right here.
Let's see if we can survive the beach, huh? <laughs> it looks like it's okay now. I am playing this game through PlayStation now, so unfortunately, the lag spikes are inevitable. Sometimes they get bad like that. Sometimes I need to restart the game, but it doesn't seem like I needed to this time. Possibly. Probably just gonna leave the stats where they are for now. Okay, his gun's starting to get pretty good, so we should maybe start leveling up his wrench again soon. I could probably just build this thing up, honestly. But it's like a third of the way through its level, so I'll probably just level it up one more time and then I'll upgrade it. Let's break these rocks. You never know what you just might find. <laughs> there are a lot of rocks here, actually. Remember, if you start breaking rocks at the beach, you might just get a loaf of bread. <laughs> That's so random. You might not just find one loaf of bread, you'll find two. In its natural habitat, bread is known to be found inside the rocks. At the at this some random beach somewhere, I kind of messed that up, but <laughs> it's still kind of silly. Do we have the key to leave? No. So basically, going to that beach was actually not very useful, outside of the fact that we were able to build our gun up. So I guess it wasn't useless then. Okay, that's weird. I'm just hitting my select button and it's pausing the game. Or not select, the one to change how my map is. Actually, it might be select, I don't know. <laughs> I'm playing on the PS4 controller, so I don't really remember. This wrench needs, like, some lightning on it, for sure. Okay, that was weird. Let's go for the two-in-one, right? These things drop lightning crystals. They're literally dropping their weakness. That doesn't make any sense. Got some Eevee though, that's helpful. Will we be able to build up our wrench one more time off of four enemies? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. This definitely would have been easier to use my gun, but I really want to level up my wrench. Oh, 
That was a strong hit. Okay, yeah, I think we'll be able to do this. Oh my goodness, of course. Because nothing's allowed to be easy. And I think that experience that dropped, I don't know if he actually got that experience. He did, okay, that's good. But he's literally a millimeter off of leveling. That kind of hurts to see. <laughs> and that's the second time. Both dungeons in a row, the last enemy gives us the Luna Stone. Okay, I was wondering, what is that? You don't really find that very often. It's just, um, fish food. Oh, speaking of fish food. Well, I think I'll take advantage of that and give our fish some food. I'll give him a, a petite fish. Oh yeah, so now our fish is one of these things. You just gotta keep feeding him and breeding him. <laughs> the battle tank too, raise the stats. The finny frenzy unlocks in the second half of this dungeon, I believe. And I think I might have enough stats to win. And you do need to win the Finny Frenzy to get one of the followers. Clear all without healing. It's a perfect level for for Max. It's time for tank and boss. We need to not heal and we need to only use Max. Well, I mean, it's easier than being with Monica because um, Max basically is two characters because you can just hop on Steve. <laughs> Monica, however, if she turns into a monster, the monster's HP is also her HP. Well, our wrench is most definitely going to level up off the next enemy. If it doesn't, then I just think the game is bugged. <laughs> Can rats actually inhabit a beach? I've actually never been to a beach, so I don't know, but it just doesn't seem like the kind of thing that would actually happen. Well, the first enemy I fight and my HP is already half gone. <laughs> uh, let's bring this up to 50. It's not going to be 50 with that, it'll be 49. But maybe 49's enough. It's gonna need more on the next upgrade anyway, so it's no big deal. All right, I need some attack. Uh, let's give it two crystals. This is probably sufficient. Nice, got the cubic hammer. We're gonna bring down the hammer. <laughs> and it's automatically indestructible too, nice. We are on the path to the legend. Th to, to the hammer called legend. <laughs> it needs smash and chill, but like I, I kind of just want to throw a lot of beast at it right now. Because like I know we're going to end up fighting it and the thing's going to need the need those stats later anyway. What does turquoise give it? I'll give it a turquoise. I'll give it a bandit coin. Cool. Um, I'm okay with it being at 35 scale. I want to bring it up to like 35 beast. Well, I'll do one more. 
And now I'll just put some smash onto it after. I feel like its secondaries are kind of good enough like that. So let's start actually building this thing up. I'm pretty sure it turns into the heavy hammer after this. And then it's just a very long marathon <laughs> to turning it into the legend hammer. Cool. So the hammer is kind of a slow weapon that does a lot of damage. I actually prefer using the ultimate wrench, but there's no achievement for that, so we need to do the, the hammer route. It's alright, this thing still does big damage. It's not like it's hard to use, it's just a little bit slug more sluggish. fish. I'm happy I put that ability on here because I need more bait badly. Lightning crystal. literally nothing. <laughs> oh, we might as well feed the fish since we're here. We'll give this one potato cake. He didn't like it. Did I heal? I don't think I did. I think I'm just going to avoid that one. I I don't really want anything from it. <laughs> I don't think I healed. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Well, I guess we'll only find out when we get to the end. Did I get the Geostone already? Yes. Taking out the captains. Okay, that's a lot of experience, seriously. <laughs> quarter of my bar per enemy. Okay, this isn't working. Oh yes, after we've already discovered the whole map we need, we get the map. Actually terrible. That kind of hurt. I think I can actually like lift this thing up if I want. Yes. Oh, I literally don't even know what just hit me. 
I, I'm hopping on Steve because I'm about to die. <laughs> That literally did 54 damage, oh my goodness. Well, I guess Steve actually has no defense. I, I've kind of neglected his extra stuff. Alright, there's literally one enemy left, so let's go get it. Let's go get it. Wait a second. Oh my, did, it, did, did, did this happen? Is the key to that room spawned in the room? It, if the chest that holds the key is behind the locked door, then I literally can't go forward. Okay, cool. There's another chest in the other room. I've never actually seen it happen for where I was literally unable to go in there. So, I guess we're, I guess we're about to find out. Who knows, it could be a, a glitch or something, or maybe the key is just in this chest. Alright, cool. They probably have some kind of code in place that prevents the chest from spawning in the locked room. I wish the map wasn't so kind of ugly to look at. It literally takes up half the screen right in the center. It'd be cool if it was on like a mini map or you could just open up a full world map like in newer games. I think that would have been much better. All right, blue seal's broken and we didn't heal, probably. So we're going to leave and see if we get the other metal. I am happy to get that fish. The fish. Yeah, I think they're going to be ready to kind of... Um, to make a new fish now. Yes. Even though the stats on this guy are really low, they're gonna go up on this one still uh, after they become a new fish. It's an ugly fish, but the stats went up. Uh, it was, yeah, it looks like an increase of one to everything except strength. I really need to up its strength. Let's get another one in there. Uh, we'll do this one. Alright, um, we are going to put them in the battle tank. And they are going to do nothing, literally. This one has high boost. It literally weighs a third of this thing. That's crazy. It's probably going to start flashing red really quickly. I've always just found this to be the best way to kind of do the battle tank. Always be ready to just move the fish out and only do it one at a time. You can make like a big battle royale. I think I did it too early. I couldn't really tell, but every hit counts. You could make it like a big battle royale in there, but if you have like six or seven fish in there flashing red, you're probably going to lose one or two. So we're at 30 medals now. 
now. <laughs> Let me tell you all right now, that's not gonna happen. I do not like using Monica's arm, man. It's very weak, and you have to charge it up. It takes forever to actually use it. That's why I will be using the name change thing to uh, get me the second best armband, and then we'll build that up. Uh, I find that to be the best way to get the platinum, and it just saves yourself a lot of time, because you don't have to use Monica's horrible armband. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. I'm being a little dramatic, but it is, it is slow. It can do some good damage, and it can be better than the sword, because it's a ranged weapon, obviously. But it's just, uh, it just takes too long to use, in my opinion. Of chess, at least one of them is probably a mimic. Oh, okay, no. That thing always looks so weird in the chest. <laughs> Like, every single chest on this floor is just right here. <laughs> okay, there are mimics. I imagine this probably needs 80 smash. I imagine it needs 80 of everything. That's kind of what I'm guessing. Yeah, it's kind of seeming like that is what it is. I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Um, we have a lot of lightning crystals, so I think I'll be okay with putting that on right now. I don't actually remember how much stat how many stats this thing actually needs. So let's just bring it up to 60 and see if that's okay. No, it needs more. So I'll put three more on. It probably needs 70 or 80. Yeah, probably me it probably needs 80. The weapon is getting pretty strong at this point, so it makes sense. I find that, like, you kind of get into the beginning of ultimate weapons in this chapter for both characters. I think Max is in a good spot, so let's kind of start leveling Monica's a weapon up again. Got the map. This big room for one random enemy sitting in the corner. Staring at a wall.
we have everything we need, we're just gonna move on to the next floor. If we have the geostone. Yeah, we do. So we're gonna go to the next floor. Sorry for background noise. I know that may, may not be the uh, cleanest sounding audio to hear me taking a sip of water. But uh, if anything, it adds to the ambience. <laughs> Scary Anti-Medusa. I could actually probably do this floor with just Max's gun too. Um... Yeah, I think I may actually just do this metal. I do want to try and get 40 medals soon. It definitely won't be as quick as if we were, uh... Doing it later on. But I think it's doable. Oh yeah, the damage on this thing is going up really quickly. Yeah, I don't think this will be particularly hard. Yeah, all these enemies are pretty weak. Just don't get hit by that. I've learned that the hard way a few times. Let's just get some scale on here. I feel like I need a little bit more of that. Well, that did increase the damage I deal a little bit against these things. So yeah, worth the upgrade. Although, if I can't actually hit the enemies, it doesn't matter. Luckily, I didn't get poisoned from that. I was actually wanting to level up Monica's weapon, but it's kind of hard to pass up this metal. It's easy. If anything, I am actually going to be building up Monica while I'm doing this, because she'll get an armband once we get 40 medals. <laughs> okay, this one might be one of the enemies that takes a little while. No, it's not that bad. Still like a quarter of my durability though. But that could have been much worse, like saying 10 points of damage. That, that would have been terrible. Yeah, I saw that coming. I saw that coming, too. <laughs> Just one enemy in here, who knows what it is. If I get hit by that, I may actually just go down. So I need I should have been a little bit more careful. But it looks like it worked out just fine. Okay, 
dodged my last bullet. I think I actually have two bell triggers, right? Yeah, so I can actually break this one down if I want to. Uh, I can't even put it on there yet, so I'll wait a little bit, but I think because I have the uh, other bell trigger, it'll be fine if I just break down my plus five one. I don't see an issue with it. All you need is a bell trigger to get Max's dad to join you. Ah, oh, perfect. This isn't really a backtracky layout at all, which is good. Beautiful. Exactly what I need. <laughs> the damage is going up like pretty noticeable every level. Or is going up a pretty noticeable amount every level, I should say. Dodging literally all my bullets. I hate I hate using a gun on frogs. All right, I think that's it. Sweet. Oh wow, <laughs> we we uh, did that in under seven minutes, huh? Not bad. We did that with a extra minute and five seconds left. Not bad at all. What's the fishing goal size here? 50. That's not too bad. I think I might go do that off camera, actually. Alright, it's time to deal with the sand molars. <laughs> Me and Shingala. I actually didn't even look. What's the metal for this floor? Only items. That's probably not going to happen. <laughs> It'll also just be easier to do that later. I probably should have left the dungeon and came back in to heal. Oh well. Um, let's look at his stuff. I took a small break and I'm back now. So, don't remember 100%. Okay. I think I want to play with Monica a bit. So we're gonna get on Monica. We probably won't end up building her sword up in this chapter, but most likely the next one. I think I might start with putting Smash on her weapon, and that'll kind of help with enemies like this here. I'm pretty sure it's Smash that's effective against, um, Mimics and whatnot. Alright, let's put some Smash on here. Yeah, it's definitely going to need a lot more than that. This thing might get to like plus 10 before I can actually upgrade the thing. Oh yes, the most wonderful enemy in the entire game, Molars. Ugh. Well, oh, being cursed isn't so bad, probably. <laughs> It's not like I was going to change my weapons anyway. Well, this floor definitely takes after its name. I'm, I'm just going to get rid of it. it it's just kind of... The, de the debuff is just going to bother me. Even though it doesn't actually do anything really. Just having the icon there. <laughs> OK, 
Go Yone. And that's how it's done. <laughs> Yeah, that uh, nothing there. I need to get some more healing materials because having just bread is not good. I need to get some more cheese. All right, I have no idea how much damage I'm actually gonna do against this thing, Monica. Uh, it's gonna take way too long. Max is better at picking up rocks, so we'll use him here. They're both kind of low on HP, huh? I do have to say, I really wish that like the mini map was just something I could open as like a world map or something. I I've, I would find it a little bit easier to work with. Because it's literally just taking up half of the screen. But it's the most efficient way to do things. Because you can't see the whole map when it's like this. And you don't really know where you're going. Nothing like bread and a rock. <laughs> Remember, if you're ever stranded on a beach and you need some bread, just start breaking rocks. Don't, don't do that. Uh, that won't work. I'm joking. Okay, I have to heal. I really don't want to use that. Let's get more smash on here. I know that she's going to have to deal with um, robots a little bit later, so if we have more smash, it's better. The sword will probably get to like plus 10 or 12 before we build it up, honestly. I mean, we can leave this floor now. I mean, we have everything we need, really. Let's see if the smash I put on the swords paid off at, at all. A very negligible amount. Oh, nice. I hit it right back at him. I probably would have just died if he didn't, honestly. Okay, let's get back on Monica. And she'll deal with this stupid thing. That was a bad attack decision. Because there's some kind of delay with the uh, turn attack like that. So that could have went much worse. Armband repair powder. Max is a trooper. He's still kicking. And there's literally two enemies left. I may as well finish it. And I mean, I don't have any choice either, because, like, I still haven't found the exit to this place. Well, I already know that last chest is the map, so there's no real reason for me to go to it.
Bita, sure. Okay, not too hard. Ah, I did not want to do that. Hopefully it's fine. Maybe. Okay, so I need to, like, hit it into the other room. Okay, this needs to be absolutely perfect. Okay. Hopefully this right here works. Beautiful. I should be able to make this work. Okay. This right here, maybe. I'm just gonna give it all I got. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's see what we got. May as well feed the fish since we're here in the menu. I don't really like using the last of something, but no choice. Damn it, a drink. I've gotten better things, but I've gotten worse things. I'm not gonna open that. There's no point. We are definitely gonna step out so we get healed to full. For free. <laughs> Next one's ride pod only, maybe, huh? Well, that gives me an idea, but because it's for bats, I don't think it's really necessary. I usually, I've usually always bought the samurai swords for Steve in this chapter. I just think they're cool, but it's really not necessary. The barrel cannon lasts for quite a while until we, um, Get the 100% reward for Giorama in this place, which pretty much replaces his weapon until like chapter 7, in my opinion. too hard to get this metal, especially with a ranged weapon. And his HP is not full. Of course it's not. That's uh, okay. I can use a ride pod fuel if required. I have three now. Oh yes, three damage. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> These missiles are kind of like half homing. Oh my goodness, I didn't even see that. Well, now we have no choice but to use the ride pod fuel. Probably a repair powder too. enemies in just this one room. Seriously. <laughs> Literally ten mobs in this room. I 
Well, it means we probably wiped out half the floor already. Which is cool. I think we're gonna need that paint later, so it's convenient. Nice little mimic there. That is a beautiful thing right there. <laughs> I needed that actually, because I ended up using the one I had already. So it'll save me some money that I can use for other stuff. So not a bad deal at all. The exit's right next to the entrance. Maybe there, there's just actually a lot of enemies on this floor, too. <laughs> Steve is getting a lot of experience points, that I cannot deny. Nice. It is never a bad day when you get power crystals before you can easily buy them. I almost used Max on this thing, I was close. This would actually be a good level for um, grinding. Max is gonna gun up a little bit. Because there's just so many enemies that are easy to take out with a ranged weapon. So it would definitely be a good grinding spot. Two more mobs. Unless this chest here is a mimic. Which it could be. I think I've only fought one or two mimics so far. Alright, it's just normal loot anyway. Got some flour. Probably never going to use it. <laughs> nice. Nice. Basically, if we get the speed of metal now, this floor is never going to be needed. This floor will know. Why can't I speak? This floor will never be stepped in again in this playthrough. <laughs> so let's do it, for the sake of saving time later and efficiency. Okay, where are we even going? The top of the map, probably, since I can't actually see the, the thing on the map. That was terrible. That, that was actually horrible. Um, that's not what I was expecting at all. Oh my goodness, okay. Do I still have enough to even do this? One, two, three. Maybe like the absolute bare minimum. That sucks. And maybe that's too hard now. Okay, yeah, I'm screwed. I'm probably gonna have to redo this now. Well, that sucks. 
Yeah, I don't think there's actually a possible way to do this now. That... Okay. Um... This is still possible. I need, like, some extreme luck right now. I basically just have to smack this in as hard as I possibly can, and hopefully it ricochets to where I want it to go. This is just pure luck right now. Nope. I messed up too much earlier. That's a pain. Oh well. It's not like I don't like speed or anything. <laughs> so I don't mind coming back later to take care of that anyway. Okay, I think this is the last floor before we're blocked off. Oh, two ride pod, only floors in a row, huh? Okay. They're uh, making sure that Steve gets his experience points. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. The pirate's hideout. This floor might be a little bit more suited for Steve. No, it's not, obviously. Or maybe I just wasn't prepared for that. I probably just wasn't prepared for that. Well, let's not get hit by that again, because I don't really feel like using another ride pod fuel. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't use the armband. It, it sucks. <laughs> Well, it's not even really that it's bad, it's just, it's slower than everything else. I'm pretty sure he's weak against the fact that there's exorcism on the weapon. Which makes me feel like the pirates are undead. there, Captain. Long time no see. It's literally been five seconds. <laughs> oh, that was close. I went, like, right next to the thing. Nice and condensed with the monsters. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of enemies in this floor. Because I've already taken out like 10 or 12 or something like that. I'm not exactly keeping count, but a lot of monsters actually. Okay. I really hope me blowing up that thing's weapon does not count against me getting the medal because I've seen I've seen dumber stuff happen. So hopefully that's not the case. Okay, a little too close there. Good old king mimic. Let us know we're halfway through the dungeon. 
He's the boss of this floor. Look at all that HP he's got. Depending on what the other enemies are, that one repair pattern won't be enough. Okay, let's take care of the tank first. too close there. Again. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use another one. I'm just going to hope that that chest up there is not a mimic. Because I also want to try and beat the time challenge. Since we're here, may as well, right? Okay, that was close. I dislike that random shots just do like literally no damage for no reason. It can really mess up your planning. Okay, none of those chests are mimics. I'm not going to take the teleport. Sweet. Oh my, yeah, that's so stupid, man. Ah, uh, that's so stupid. Because I blew up that pirate's cannonball, the pirate tank's cannonball, even though I used Steve, because I dealt damage to it with the enemy's attack, I don't get the medal. I dislike that a lot. It's a silly glitch. Oh well. We could still do the speed anyway. So we have to go through these rock formations, huh? So our, our shooting distance is limited. Ugh. Do I have enough shots to do this now? Okay, so if I get it through the rock formation, okay, it's possible, but I have to do this a lot more gently. And every shot has to be perfect again. Since we're here, may as well open up this chest. Who knows what it is. I always want more fish food. <laughs> Speaking of fish food, I think it's probably time to feed these things. Let's put them in the battle tank for a sec though. Improve their strength stat. Or then maybe they'll just sit there doing absolutely nothing. As, as they always do. <laughs> They love to do this for some reason. Yeah, if you give them a few seconds, yeah, there we go. They'll, they'll start after a few seconds anyway. Although it's usually one-sided like this. Sometimes all fish just go crazy and start attacking each other, no problem. I've seen times where the weak fish just attacks the big fish and the big, the big fish literally does absolutely nothing. And then the weak fish starts flashing red just from attacking the other fish. It's kind of funny, actually. Okay. Don't want to lose them, but now that they fought, it's time to feed them. I'll just give them both carrots. Okay. So what are we going to do now? This camera angle sucks. Alright, well this is pretty much all we can do. Let's just hope uh, the ricochet isn't so bad. Oh, beautiful. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, awesome. I can hit it with full strength, it doesn't matter. Oh, man! That... Oh. Oh. Ah, oh, that physically hurts. <laughs> oh wow, that's 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 terrible. 
I got unlucky with the ride pod metal because it glitched. And then I missed I messed the speed up like that. That's so terrible. <laughs> oh well, there's nothing we can do. safe. Cave of Ancient Merles. Cool music, kind of ominous. Whoa, what's all this? It's one of those murals called Moon of Destruction. They discovered a whole bunch of them in my era too. Moon of Destruction. They show an imaginary world where the moon comes crashing down, destroying mankind. Nobody's been able to figure out why there are so many of these things, or what purpose they served. Wow. Well, what's the point of so many murals, all exactly the same? Maybe the ancient people were trying to tell us something with these murals. Tell us something? Oh, I don't know. It's just a hunch. Something about them makes me think so, I guess. Hmm. Whoa! Shingala? Shingala, stop! Look, there's something on his head! What is it? I think I know what it might be. Shingala, what's going on? Shingala, stop it! It's no use. Look at Shingala's head. There's some kind of device there. I think he's being controlled by it. Huh? Look out! Ah! He's not gonna listen to us! to Shingala. He doesn't recognize me. It's not that. You saw the strange device on his head? I'm sure that it's controlling him. We've got to think of some way to get it off of him. Maybe the people at Luna Lab will know a way. Yes, exactly. They might be able to help us. Let's go. So in order for us to go further, we are going to need to do some Giorama. So we are going to leave it here for this episode. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you have a good day, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.